How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of the AFC Wimbledon Road to Glory career mode. This will be episode number 4 of this series now and once again I've got to thank you guys for all the support that you left on that previous episode. We managed to get over 70 likes again and if we can do the same on this video guys that would be greatly appreciated. In the last episode if you did miss it we tried to make a few more signings mainly swap deals because we are lacking funds at the moment and we also had our first games one against Cambridge which we won in the Football League 2 and also a Capital One Cup game away against Swindon. We won that one as well 1-0 so we're not really scoring too many goals but we've kept two clean sheets in our first game and that is pretty impressive. But now we are going to be having the first game of the episode here. It is going to be against Carlisle United in the Football League 2 and this is going to be the side we will be going with. Once again we're going with the same side that won us the first match in the Football League 2. The only change in this match is that we're going with Lyle Taylor up front instead of Akin Fenwell. We will bring him off the bench and maybe he can be a bit of an impact sub, but at the moment he really hasn't been that impressive. Hopefully we can be a bit more convincing than in the first game. We didn't really win it by a convincing manner. It was that penalty late on that really won it for us and apart from that, our finishing was pretty mediocre. Here they go down that left hand side getting the cross in and that one is just over the bar by Ib Hare. And that was a good opportunity for Carlisle to take the lead there. Really wasted opportunity from the cross. Here we go with King down this right-hand side. And he's beaten his man very well there. I was looking for the cross, but we're not able to find it. Not able to find some room. So we're going to cut inside and have a shot instead. And what a save that is by the goalkeeper. A brilliant effort there by Billy King too. Here we go with Taylor. This is some good play. Finding Billy King. And the advantage has been played very well here. Billy King has cut inside and had a shot. And that was a really good effort again from our right midfielder, really creating the best chances. Half time has come and gone in this match and we've been absolutely destroyed possession wise. Carlisle, they're just passing it round the back at the moment. They've had a shot on target, but they really aren't creating too much in this game. Billy King played outstanding in that first half. If he continues to do the same, surely we're going to find a good opportunity, a little bit of space on goal. Good little pass inside. Barkham's going for a shot and it's fallen here to that player. I don't even know who that was, but that was a brilliant opportunity and it hit the goalkeeper, I think, and then hit the post into Dicker. And in again, that's really poor defending, but it's a poor finish and that should have been better taken by Carlisle. In again. And again into Akin Fenwa. Akin Fenwa's turned his man and had a shot and he's somehow gone into the back of the net and he's the beast himself. Akin Fenwa that gets the goal, the first goal of the season for him. Bit of a deflection on that one, I think. Very, very lucky to find the back of the net. And in the end, it's the beast himself that scores. So we're 1-0 up now. We've just got to make sure we don't concede because it seems like these games are going to end up being a lot of 1-0s in this uh, division, at least. Because a lot of these teams like to go defensive. Now we've got to keep on running here with Barkham. He's got the pace. Akin Fenwa's calling for it, but it doesn't matter. We're going to cut inside. Barkham's done really well here. Going for a shot from outside the box. And that one's just wide of the post. That would have wrapped up the game for sure. Nice over the top ball to King. And it's the counter attack now. Into Akin Fenwa. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What kind of touch is that? It doesn't matter in the end. We end up getting a 1-0 result from this match. Probably not the most convincing of victories again. We had chances to go on and win the game further. One with Barkham and a couple of chances from Billy King as well. But it is that one goal from the beast himself, Akin Fenwa. And it is six shots and three on target for us. So a very even game actually on balance. We certainly brought it back in the second half because in the first half, we were getting absolutely spanked with possession. Someone in the last episode said that they wanted to see me train Rhys Silva a little bit more. And I completely understand why you're saying that. Goalkeepers on FIFA, they don't seem to grow till they're about 27 to about 30. Maybe even older than that. So, you know, Rhys Silva's 21. He's probably not going to grow. So I probably will have to grow him by training him quite a lot. But we end up getting some good results from that training session Billy King especially going up to a 65 overall there he's been really really good since he's come in obviously as well in the last episode I was looking to bring in a new center back or a defensive minded player because I realized we were very thin on the ground in those amount of players that we've got 
Obviously, my main target and um, the target that you guys wanted me to sign was Tom Lockyer. But in the last episode, Bristol Rovers ended up blocking our approaches for him. But we do have one of the transfer offers accepted. It's for Jermaine Grandison. This guy does look like a very good player and I will show you why in just a minute. Another Shrewsbury Town player. Obviously a League 1 player and certainly got that quality for League 2. We will go ahead and give him a contract. I'm going to go ahead and be honest with him. I'm going to say he's going to be a sporadic first team player. We will have to simulate onwards here. See if we do have any emails accepting contracts. We have a transfer offer accepted for Henville. And that's quite an interesting one. 250,000 plus Ryan Sweeney. Two grand alone is a lot of money to be spending on a backup centre back. Yes, he is 64 overall. So he could, well, potentially be going straight into the first team. It looks like we've also had another transfer offer accepted. And it is going to be for Bailey Cargill. Another centre back that I've been looking at. Cargill is only 62 overall though. And he is on pretty high wages, obviously, because he is a Premier League player. However, he is a lot younger than the other centre-backs that we are going in for and have had transfer offers accepted for. So signing him wouldn't be a bad thing. He would end up growing quite a lot, I reckon. Currently, we are second in the table, just behind Oxford United after two games in the league. I reckon we've done well. We've had an unbeaten start. And hopefully we can get another win in the next match. And the next match in particular that we are going into is York City away from home in the Football League 2. Once again, we're going with the same side. It worked for us in the last game. Hopefully we can get a similar result in this one. Hopefully we will get another win in this match. We played well in the previous match against Carlisle. Now we're coming up against York City. They're currently in 10th. So I think we've got a good opportunity to get another win here. Here we go with Dos Santos getting the ball over the top. That's a good run being made as well by King. But his first touch really, really did let him down there. Oh no, this is really poor defending. Collison is trying to cut inside, get the cross in. And it's fallen there to their player. And they put it into the back of the net. And York City do take the lead here, probably deservedly so. And that is going to be the first goal that we've conceded in this series, which is pretty impressive after four games. But it was a very, very good volley. Look at that. Very, very good volley with his right foot into the back of the net. Roy Silva certainly stood no chance. Good little pass there to Baxendale. Now we're going to get the pass into the middle. Elliot's on it. And it's a good through ball. Is Barkham on side? I think he is. And this is a good little run being made by Barkham. He's kept hold of it as well. Done very well. And now it's Baxendale turning his man and having a shot. And it's a good save by the York City keeper there. Oh, that's a good little bit of pace into Dos Santos and a good save again by the York City goalkeeper. And it was Barkham really who created that. But now we're going to be taking this corner. We're going to give it to Billy King. And can he do something with this? We're going to try and get a bit of a whip into the middle. And that's a good little header. And it's Robinson with his second goal in two episodes. And this time he volleys it into the back of the net. Deservedly so as well. We've kept on the pressure. Billy King with a brilliant ball into the middle. Nice little flick on there to Robinson. He does actually take it down and then shoot it on the half volley. It's a very good finish though. And Robinson, I believe, is going to be our top scorer. I could be wrong though. Oh no, this is really good passing by York City. And they go for a shot. And what a powerful one that was. And Penn can't put it in from the rebound. Are they going to regret that? That was a stinging effort, though. Into Elliot once again. Our third choice striker going on a bit of a run here. And we need a bit of support from our teammates. There we go. Into Barkham. Barkham passes it in to Dos Santos. And back to Elliot once again. And he's kept hold of it and had a shot. And I didn't get enough power on that one. That's a really disappointing effort. Oh, no. That's poor defending. Do not concede. Oh, Roy Silva coming to the rescue there that's really really lucky from me and they don't score from that one they probably should have done though so there we go we end up getting a 1-1 draw from that match not the end of the world we didn't end up losing the match which is a positive but I think we could have done better we didn't create that many chances and York City they really kept the pressure on us that's really seen by the full-time stats. We had four shots, four on target. We're still not creating too many chances. We got dominated on possession. York City probably should have won in hindsight. But now we're going to be going into some more player training. Are we going to be seeing some growth? I'm not really too sure. Will Nightingale already up to a 59 overall. So that's plus three already this season. 
So we have Contra offers accepted for three players here. We have one accepted for Troy Archibald Henville, one for Billy Cargill, and also one for Jermaine Granson. Archibald Henville is going to be slightly cheaper in terms of the transfer sum that we are offering, but the wages are pretty high, 2.6 grand. On the other hand, we do have Billy Cargill, who is 62 overall, 20 years old, does look very, very good for the future, and both of these transfer offers for Jermaine Grandison and also Cargill are both the same amount. To be honest, we don't have a left-footed centre-back in the whole of our squad, which is pretty interesting. Bailey Cargill is left-footed, he's got good potential, and he will be a very, very good player for the future. Billy Cargill and Jermaine Grandison, they both have the same valuation, but Cargill is going to grow in his valuation. He's going to be a good player for the future, so I think it would make sense to go ahead and sign him, and we will go ahead and sign him up. He will be joining AFC Wimbledon. Cargill is a player that a lot of you did want me to sign as well. I've been seeing a lot of comments saying that I should sign this guy and that he's a very good player. The good thing about him as well is that he's six foot four. He's an absolute giant. And he can also play left back if needs be. So he's very, very versatile. And I think if we do get any injuries to the defence, this guy is going to be a very important player for us. We do have a game here against Newcastle, but I am going to leave that to the next episode, guys. Unfortunately, I don't have time to play this game. And I want to get an episode up for you guys. So apologies that we're only doing two games in this episode. In the next episode, I will get a bit further into the transfer window. Hopefully, we will finish it. And we will get into the month of September. Although technically I can't buy any more players. If you do have any suggestions for possible players I could get on swap deals. Do let me know in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this episode of this career mode. Then of course feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. But apart from that guys I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.